Today I'm going to show you how to create audio presets in DaVinci Resolve in order to make your audio workflow a lot faster. Let's take a look. All right, before we get started, before we jump in and I teach you how to do this, I just have to admit something to you real quick. I was wrong and I am so happy that I was. Ever since I started doing DaVinci Resolve tutorials, people were asking me about creating presets for EQ and compression and plugins and stuff like that. And I always said no, because it's kind of hidden away. But the fact is you can create audio presets in DaVinci Resolve. It's actually super, super easy to do. We're gonna jump in in just a second. But first, one little caveat. While yes, you can create audio presets in DaVinci Resolve, you can't do them for individual clips. So everything that we're gonna be doing today is for the track level only. Now, for me, that's not a big deal because I keep my audio fairly organized. So all of my dialogue is usually on one or two tracks and music is on another couple of tracks and sound effects and ambient noise are on another couple of tracks you get the idea so it's actually helps me to be able to do presets at the track level but if you don't do that if your audio is kind of all over the place then I would suggest first before you start creating presets learn how to organize your audio in your timeline so that this can actually be helpful to you all right let's jump into davinci resolve and take a look at how to create audio presets all right let's do this we are in the fairlight page in davinci resolve i've got a clip lined up and ready to go i've already done some normalization and some noise removal to the clip itself but what i really want you to pay attention to is over in the mixer you'll see if we look at audio one i've got some effects on the track i've got some eq and and some compression on the track as well and what we're going to do is we're going to create presets for those effects and that eq and that compression so let's go over to fairlight in the top menu and click on presets library and in the presets library where it says filter by you'll notice a drop down box let's go ahead and take a look at our options we've got equalizer presets dynamics plugins global track global bus and full console presets what we're going to be doing today is focusing on equalizer dynamics and plugins so let's start with equalizer what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and click on audio one because that's where all of my editing is so far and we're going to go ahead and hit save new and we're going to call this deity d3 pro eq and I'm just going to put studio here so I know that these are the presets for when I'm filming in the studio. And we'll go ahead and click OK. And now if we look at our list of equalizer presets, you'll see our new preset has shown up. Let's move on and go to dynamics presets. And it's the same thing. We're going to go ahead and click audio one, save new, Diddy D3 Pro dynamics and studio go ahead and click OK and then finally let's go to plugins audio one save new and we'll label that the same way deity d3 pro plugins studio and that was super easy and we're ready to actually apply these presets to a track that has no effects on it whatsoever let's jump in and take a look all right we're back in the fairlight page it's the same clip we were working with before i've still got some normalization and some noise removal on that clip but if you look at the mixer you'll notice there is nothing in audio one and we're going to use our presets to fill all of this out so let's go back over to our presets library and let's start with our plugins. Let's go ahead and click the Deity D3 Pro plugins preset and click audio one and click apply. Now, if we go over to our mixer, we will see that those plugins that DS are in that limiter have now shown up. Let's move on and go to our equalizer presets. Click the Deity D3 Pro preset, click audio one and apply. And if we go back to our mixer, you'll see now our EQ has shown up. And last but not least, let's take a look at dynamics. Click Deity D3 Pro, Audio 1, Apply, and now we're good to go. 
creating and using audio presets in DaVinci Resolve is really going to speed up your audio workflow. And if you wanna learn some ways to make the rest of your editing workflow faster, make sure you check out this video right here. And if you found this useful and you wanna learn more about video editing, camera gear, and how to make better videos, make sure you subscribe to my channel and hit that bell so you don't miss anything. Thanks for watching, thanks for hanging out, and I'll see you in the next video. Go watch it now.